Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So I'll do unboxing of this new electric bicycle Bandit. It's a X-Trail Urban. I'll do unboxing, show you how to assemble it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video and let's open it up. So look on this bicycle. Rack come with a bamboo 25 kilo maximum which probably can handle more looks like everything very neat packed inside and look on this massive seat it should be amazing wow look on how big is the seat should be very comfortable okay so the wheel is attached to the frame so i'm gonna remove all this uh, packing and i'll go step by step how to install it it comes with nice box inside, so let's see what is inside. It comes with set of uh, large pedals, right and left side marked. Then it comes with a manual. Actually, it comes with nice toolkit. Let's see what is inside, actually. Okay, so it's come with full range. So everything, like even hex key, everything like real tools. Also, you can attach this uh, uh, reflector to the wheels. Two reflectors for the wheels. You come with one front reflector. Also, one headlight. You would attach as headlight. And the charger. The charger is two amp charger, which is good so far the first thing i'll try to attach the wheel so the bike can stand by itself balanced so i would remove this protective stuff also this one and this bike comes with nice fork protection actually real nice it has a quick release so we just open up so you would need to, to remove completely quick release in order to remove this protection. Okay. Completely remove it. With a spring. So you would remove it. Then step on it. Now you would take this um, uh, wheel and the brake section on this bike the front one comes on the right side which is kind of different than any other bicycle so you just also this uh, inside there is also a brake protector so you would need to remove it as well it's uh, for hydraulic brake some plastic you would remove it like this and you will just drop it between two pads okay and it would slide it in and you take this screw cooker really screw insert it um, on one side and then you would attach the spring and this nut on another side oh, okay Actually, I was wrong. Actually, it's all correct. I just need to twist this uh, fork. Okay. So I was a little bit wrong. So this actually brake come to the left as any other bicycle supposed to be. It just was a little bit uh, turned too much to the right. So now once I turn the fork correctly, looks like everything fine. This bicycle use quick release. So once you tighten on one side, uh, pretty you will adjust it the way it's supposed to be and then you close this and you would need to close this way that it will be completely down over here okay now it's time to attach the handlebar before doing that you have to remove this bracket with allen key okay so you remove this four bolts once you remove the bracket you bring this handlebar up okay like this 
cover with this bracket you removed and reattach it. I usually use fingers first and then I'll use the Allen key to tighten up. Once you adjust position you want, then you can tighten up all these four key. Usually they come as about seven millimeters torque. So if you have a torque wrench, that would be helpful. I do right now by hand, but then I'll check everything correctly and adjust off the camera. But that's how you attach the handlebar. Okay. And make sure it's all good tighten. And you have to straighten all in the middle. Okay, this um, display can be adjusted up and down. This screw underneath you can untighten and move freely. All right. And make sure you don't throw away these two uh, cards. You will need it. I'll talk to you about this later in the video. Also, it comes with two keys for the battery. And now it's time to attach this uh, mudguard. It's pretty simple. So you would need to remove this bolt over here and one over here. Once you remove it, you would attach. I'll show you how. Once you remove this bolt, you would take headlight, insert it over here, and insert it back to the fork, okay? So headlight would be holding with uh, some uh, spacer between and bolt. Then it takes the mudguard, insert from behind over here. Use the same spacer you removed before and reattach with a nut it came with. You would need the wrench it came with and you would need the Allen key to tighten up. Okay. Once you attach the headlight, you can connect it now. It's pretty simple. It's uh, one cable from the headlight and one cable hanging over here with red inside. So you just match there should be two arrow on both sides. You just match them and click and it's all set. You can probably use some uh, zip tie to tighten a little bit like this. Then you take this uh, bolt you removed and reattach this uh, bottom uh, of the mudguard with hand and then use the Allen key. And you do the same thing on another side. And now it's time to attach these uh, pedals. Pedals look real nice actually. Large with good traction. So right one comes to the right side, left to the left. Make sure you attach it correctly. So it should be pretty simple. I do everything by hands first. And then I use the wrench it came with to tighten up. And you don't have to do it hard, just a little bit, because it will tighten by itself. You can remove now the letter R. And you do the same thing on another side, okay? And so I want just to show you how high the seat can go up, see? This one, the highest uh, the seat can go up. So I will probably use, and you need to use Allen key to adjust the seat on the side. So I can use probably up to here and now let's talk about the spec on this bicycle so bandit x trail comes with a dual suspension the front suspension it's a 90 millimeters with 50 millimeters travel it has a locking mechanism over here but it does not have a preload options so it's a just a decorational piece it does come with a nice rear suspension right here from both sides it does come with a nice rack which uh, rated to 25 kilo but i weighed 215 pounds and i sit on it and it was just fine uh, it comes with one of the nicest seats you can find on the market as you can see it's massive and it's very comfortable to ride because not only the seat but also all this combination with all this suspension it comes with a almost built-in battery but it's a little bit outside but it's sit inside the frame so it will not uh, make any noise while you're riding and sit very well inside also you can charge this battery uh, off the bike or on the bike over here is the charging port 
and um, it comes with options to attach front basket uh, trigger shifting so you just press once it will change the gear and if you press on another side it will change uh, a low gear so by pressing it it will just keep shifting eight gear shifting comes from shimano altos uh, looks like silver class over here so everything looks really great uh, double wall protection so your pants will not get stuck in the cranks also equipped with a uh, dual mud guards the front wheel and also on the back as you can see over there so you can ride in rain or in the mud and keep your pants clean x trail come with a uh, dual disc brakes front and rear 180 millimeters hydraulic with four pistons to start the bicycle it's pretty simple you just press this power button over here and it will start with welcome bandit and then you use this nfc card if you want to or you can enter the password i will use this uh, nfc card which comes with the bicycle two of the cards for safety it will unlock if you do not enter correctly password or don't have nfc card the bicycle will not start and you will not be able to ride the bicycle you can still pedal it as a regular bicycle but the motor and all the function electrically will not work so let's go over the options on this display what you're gonna see so you will see how many miles you rode like a total then on the right side you will see trip miles i'm outside and it's very bright so you might not be able to see everything it says 91 percent of the battery life so it give you real percentage not just bars also you'll see how fast you'll go on the mileage and uh, headlight bluetooth if it's connected and walk mode and also level of assist so every uh, every time you start the bicycle it will go to the level zero which is very good future i like because uh, many electric bicycle come with a uh, level one right away so it means if you turn on the bicycle accidentally touch the throttle or pedals the bicycle can start to ride without even you to be ready so it's create a lot of uh accidents so this is a good settings with zero so you can if you want to start to ride you can put a uh, one just pressing plus bu button it will change to one by pressing one more time it will change two three four five and six because it comes with six different mode also it will show you how, uh, sport mode it means it will go very fast uh, over 28 miles an hour and um, you have options to remove this uh, safety feature like a password by pressing settings and it will go to the menu and you can select and change the brightness and change the password if you put password all zero it will remove completely password so you will not need to use the password at all also um, they will have an app soon so they are still developing so once it's developed you will have an app on your phone to be able to connect and unlock the bicycle or lock it in and also to see all the information on your phone if you need to charge your phone while you're riding or connect extra uh, headlight because this headlight is okay but if you need more headlight it comes with a uh, usb port right over here it's a c-class usb port you just plug it in and you can charge your phone while you're riding or you can um, connect your uh, other equipment it also comes with a headlight and tail light and let me show you how to use this you just press uh, minus and it will activate it you'll see the headlight on over here it's get brighter and then you'll see headlight will be on pretty bright and then the tail light will be activated as well and you'll have tail light it's also work as a braking light i highly recommend to check this bicycle because it has so many nice features and very comfortable ride you can check a uh, link in description for more 
uh, information. Also, Bandit uh, will have a um, store open probably at the end of April or May beginning in uh, city of Santa Monica, California. So you can walk in and take a look or maybe even have a ride on them. They will have a showroom over there. That's a really great. And I think it's a one of the best um, price bicycle under $2,000 because you got not only front suspension, also nice rear suspension, 750 watt motor, uh, real nice hydraulic brakes, uh, beautiful display with uh, some safety, with the cart. Also, they will have a special app to control the bicycle as well. And I think you cannot beat this price. And this was assembly video, so that's about it. If you want to see a speed test and how this bicycle perform, uh, you can uh, check link above or click link in description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.